How's it going YouTube? I'm Apoc and today I'm going to show you how to add things to the shoulders in Lens Studio. So it's only going to be tracked to the shoulders, not the rotation of the face and all that won't affect it. Just tracking the position of the shoulders. There's multiple ways to do it. This is the absolute best way and the way I use with all of my brands I work with that need something like this and the way I do it personally on personal lenses. But I don't think I've used it on any personal lenses yet. So this is the absolute best method. It uses the face, which is well tracked in Lens Studio. The other option is using the object tracking and attaching it to the attachment points that the body tracking gives you in here. So you just go under like object tracking and then body. I think there's some points there. Those kind of work, but not very well. The face is definitely the way you want to go. And I'm going to go over real quick how to do it. This is what it's going to look like. As you can see, face rotation doesn't affect anything, but position of the head does. So how to do it very quickly for our advanced users, you just add a head binding, a parent object. Inside the parent object, you add the script that's in the description below. It just dis disables rotations on it. Then below that, you add in your 3D object. Important thing is your parent does not have any transform added. So all your position rotation should be zero. Your scale should be one. Your head binding needs to be head center, and you can transform your 3D objects underneath the parent however you want. So that's the advanced quick overview. We're going to go step by step now into a little beginner tutorial for the rest of the video. I'm going to slow it down a little bit here so it's more beginner friendly and show you guys how to do it step by step. First thing you need to do is add in a head binding. What the head binding does is it just tracks the face basically and gives you a position. And anything under that will also be attached to the face. So go to your objects and add new, face effects, head binding. Now, while you have this selected, make sure it's highlighted in blue, not like that, but like that. Um, click add new, scroll all the way up to the top and look for empty child object. Should be the second one down. So now you have your parent object underneath that. We need to add the script. So come to your resources, right click, or just click add new and do script. Click on the script so it opens in the inspector and just paste that in from the description. Now apply your changes and click back on the parent object. Now we're just going to drag this over in here. You can also do like add component script and then add the script. It's a pretty slow way to do it. Just drag your script into that. It'll make the component everything for you. Now that is done, you want to make sure your transforms are all zeros and your scales are one. Now you just drag in your 3D objects underneath this. So you can just literally just drag it from down here underneath that. It'll work. But I don't have a 3D object to use. So I'm just going to add a mesh here with a box. Put that under that. And you can transform your objects however you want. The parent is the only one that can't be transformed. So I'm going to do that now and show you. The important thing is that you may unintentionally transform the parent. I've done it before. So if you notice it's tracking weird and it's still rotating, double check your parent doesn't have any transforms on it. Once you do that, you should be done. You can just position it however you want and you'll see it's now only tracking the shoulders. So that's it. Really simple. You can add multiple objects under here as well, by the way. It's pretty much infinite amount of objects as much as you can support. There's, this does not affect any child objects at all. The script is just stopping the rotation of the parent, which stops the rotation down below. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this helps you out a lot. I get this requested so, so often and I finally decided to make a tutorial on it. So thanks. Let's catch you all next time.